It's DJ Holiday and Ebony, a.k.a. the Averys. Stay tuned. Dinner with the Averys season two, ladies and gentlemen. Back at it again. Hey. What's going on, mama? Hey, babe. Mama How are Cita. You? <laughs> How I'm, you doing? I'm good, man. Good, good, good. Uh, just happy to be alive, moving around, you know, doing the thing, getting ready for the week. And uh, uh-huh. it's been an amazing uh, last couple of weeks, too, as well, too. It has. Yeah, it, man, I'm it's excited. been a lot going on. How you on. feeling? Um, I'm great. I like your vibe today. <laughs> Don't do that to what? me. You just got to call me out every single time. Oh, my God. I haven't said anything. I okay. said I like your vibe today. Thank you. What vibe is that? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> the, you got a lot of skin. You're showing a lot of skin today. Okay. That's cute. I like the skin. I mm-hmm. like when you know I love when your neck is out. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's going on with your hair? <laughs> It's a little curly in the back, and well, technically, you know, I know I got a Death Row shirt on, so <laughs> so um, like some West Coast black. What's going on? My hair is wet. Yes, I am sitting here looking like Easy E sister right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I was conditioning. I mean, it's cute. No, I was conditioning my hair, and time got away from me, and I was like, oh shoot, it's time so to it's go. So it's still conditioning. There? It's still conditioner in my hair right now. I had my Walmart bag on my it head. It smelled like a, a beauty supply store here. I had my Walmart bag on my head, ah. deep conditioning my hair, and I literally just pulled it off. But you know, listen. I know I know nothing of what you're talking about. I mean, I know you said conditioner, but you know, as man being with you. I learned new <laughs> facial resume. Yeah, you use it. That's why your skin be glowing no, and stuff. Well, I don't uh-huh. use. I, I, you I use think, my what stuff. I took. I took. You use the, a lot the witch of my hazel stuff. thing is what I you took from you. You use a lot of my stuff. And I know you did. You put me on some to that, the oils, aspirin thing, all and, type of stuff, and some kind of oil shit on your mm-hmm. face. But y'all, that's not supposed to happen though. <laughs> but the the hair. St- she talks to me as if I. Like I'm her gay friend that's supposed to know all her hair stuff, and I don't know. She'd be telling me, "Bri, what do you think about this part? What do you think about?" This? I'd be like, "Baby, I don't know." I'd be Bri, wanting you to sound should interested. know by now, as no, long as I we've don't. been together and, and as many different styles I've done with my hair and colors and no, I know about stuff, I know about like in the closet. And- it's like it's a it's a door. You mash the button Here you and go. it opens, and it's like five different, Here ten different go. wigs and. I know I don't. They're not named or anything, but they actually have names. They're amazing, though. I love it. They you know? have names. They, they, I remember the year, the time, the the trip you wore it on, the party you wore it at. You know. <laughs> I mean, listen, nature. you got. That, I got one for each occasion, but people, ne- people have never. That's seen, all natural. This is my hair. Yes, people and I have always never tell her seen that. my hair like this, curly like this. I, I, I don't wear my hair like this. I don't really like. The curls. She'd be like, man, baby, I need a wig. I'd be like, babe, your hair looks amazing. I mean, I, I have very long hair. And I love the color. Hair. I love the texture. Well, I'm coloring it now, but I have very, very long hair. I just prefer weave. Weave is more manageable than my real hair. I, you I know, don't think Ladies, so. y'all know what I'm talking about. The ladies mm-hmm. that wear wigs and the ladies that wear weaves, some of y'all know that your hair... Your weaves and your wigs are more manageable than your real hair. That's why we wear it. You know, it's easier I, I to do it. I hated that phase when you used to wear the wigs that, like, glued on your forehead and you used to, to peel it off or something. I didn't shit. wear them that often. I know I said I hated it. That's you, when I was... When you did it for a couple... You did I, it for like a year. Well, you know, I was letting JoJo... I was going to JoJo and I was letting JoJo do whatever she wanted I to do. I like that. And some of those were cute. Some of them was cute, but you could tell... Like it was Only corner. you could tell up close, but you couldn't yeah. really, you know, it wasn't really noticeable. You mean the little and screen? I heard girls pay thousands of dollars for that They shit. do. I, I, I wouldn't. You wouldn't pay $1,000 for a, a hair. Wig. I'm a natural girl, so I like my I like my leave out. I like my hair to look natural. I don't yeah. like the wiggy looking wiggy look. I always tell you that story. You know, the, the night I fell in love with you. Oh, Lord. Is when you came over <laughs> my house and spent the night. And I was, you know, used to women sleeping in my room when they were able, were invited you, you over. Stuttering, uh huh. Uh-huh, you stuttering <laughs> when they were invited over to spend the night. Uh-huh. They were sleeping my, and they would mess up my white, my white uh, pillows. You mess I, with all them cake face girls. Yeah, cake face. Mm-hmm. And, that, and I remember mm-hmm. Ebony spent the night, uh, and she slept on the bed, and I, I rolled over, and I was like, I said, "Damn, man, why you sleeping on my bed with all that damn makeup on?" And she was like, I don't have any makeup on. And I was like, oh, my God. I just <laughs> melted in the bed. That was amazing. So yeah. that's my wife, guys. Like today, I'm just, I'm natural with my lashes on. and So you know, pretty, just, man. So natural. It is what it is. See, this is why I tell y'all, listen, y'all, I, this is how much I really rock with y'all because 
I be having stuff to do. I be having stuff going on. I don't be feeling good sometimes. But one thing I'm going to do, when we got this podcast scheduled, yeah. I'm going to make it to this well, podcast. Ain't gonna let you cancel, bro. Wet hair, it's sick, buck. No stomach out. hurting, headache, cold, COVID, whatever yeah. it is. I'm going to make it you to film this show. You are an amazing natural beauty. I give you that. Thank you, man. Like, yeah. Thank and, I, you. and I didn't plan it. <laughs> I am just, what? you're a natural, beautiful girl, and I, and I see that, and I see why people, no matter what the fuck you post, they always gonna say the same. I, I thought it was repetitive, like damn, they gonna keep saying, "Do she get tired of people just saying, oh, you pretty, oh, you pretty, oh, you pretty?'" But nah, it's dope, I guess. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. But tomorrow I'm, be, I'm gonna be even more pretty because I'm tired of looking like my kids come first. Oh yeah, we got. Go I'm look. just playing. We're going to uh, <laughs> Minneapolis, uh, one of our mini homes. Um, to go to a wedding and uh, yes. stuff, stuff. So congratulations to my friends that are getting married. Yes, congratulations. Glad they have a good ass time. I love weddings. My motherfucker be getting drunk by. I love weddings. I'm so excited. Yeah, it we... make me cry. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, the kids are out of school. Out of school. Well, last day, they're out of school. So, oh my gosh. The last so day. it's time for mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm bored. Niggas, mommy, I'm. <sighs> e man eating like he got a job. And I ain't rocking with it. Both of them. Both nah, of your kids know. eat like grown men. Yeah. Both of them. The uh, girl and the boy. Yeah. <laughs> your kids. That shit is taking a toll in the in the in the uh in the grocery store. It's I so see funny. It your mom asked me the other day. She was like, How much do y'all spend on groceries? And I was like, listen, we spend Randomly, about three hundred dollars a week. Nah, I ain't gonna say a week. Every two weeks. I, I I can get away with a good a good Costco visit and a Publix visit. Cause we like water from Publix. And we like bulky like snacks and stuff, but then yeah, we get our Costco. only we only get our meats from um, Publix. Yeah. So that's a good three hundred dollars, three fifty, and that will last for two weeks. No. Yeah, for sure. No. Yeah. Anyway, I need some food stamps. Man, shit. <laughs> Anybody got y'all food got stamps? the plug? Hey, y'all know they Hit got the me plug. Up. Listen, I forgot Hit that dude. Hey, dude, hey, dude, you who walked up on me at Walmart that day. You know, them gift cards shit she was doing. Like, yo, you give me 300 I'll give you 150 Come holler at your butt, man. Man, give me for the real. Because it's, it's about to be summertime. It's summertime. These we want, need all the assistance that we can get. During the regular year, they just eat <laughs> maybe two, three times a, a, a day. But now, you know, it's going to be, I'm bored, so I want to eat. Yes, I all day going long. for that shit. Y'all niggas going be in a summer camp. Man, oh. speaking of summer camp, do you know kicking eyes how outside. high the prices is for summer camp now? Yeah, I got a, I got a summer camp though. It's called Daddy Camp. <laughs> Y'all niggas gonna be outside and locked outside until I they let gotta you back figure in the out house. something to do like will, we used to I do. I will expeditionally drop your snacks off at the door. <laughs> I will give you blankets, but it will be activity. I'm gonna go to fucking Target and buy a bunch of shit for outside. And y'all gonna stay y'all ass outside until I say come. I back mean, in. listen, back in the day, you Daddy couldn't camp. you couldn't pay us to come in the house. We we pushed it and we stayed outside until them street lights came mm. on. We was not coming in like the I house. I was lit for the summer. Like I was like, man, I was like, Ryan, you, you, Easton, y'all excited for the last day of school? And like, yeah, I like. So what are you? What's your plans for the summer? What are you? They gonna stay you in the house and wanna do watch something? the iPad. You play Roblox. She was like, yeah, I wanna beat my lingo thing. And I, it Dual all, lingo. All had it all had to do with. Um, um, uh, electronics. And, yeah, and, and, and I remember vaguely like I had football still. I was in heavy sports, but still I would just remember like, yo, man, I can't wait to ride my bike with my home. That's what I'm saying. We rode bikes. We did oh, we jump build a rope, fort. hopscotch. We, built, uh, we, were, we were like, yo, we're gonna build a treehouse. Like summer. we did all we type like, oh, of yo, stuff. We're we gonna cut grass so we can save money so we can get a membership at the YMCA. We played tag. We yeah. like, you know, no, and they then, do all that shit. No, nah, they, they, do it in the they house. get bored real quick. It's too hot out here. It's bugs. It's birds. It's like what? These kids nowadays, it, like you it's know, bugs, it's, birds. it's birds flying. Why is there they so many birds flying you. around? Like what? They get that shit from you. Like what the world? Yeah, so yeah, the these, same way. these kids are built different. It's bugs, it's they birds. built different. They can't handle the stuff that we used to deal with back in the yeah, day. We man. had skint knees and elbows, and man. they ain't got nothing. Man, a bug bit me. Oh my gosh! Like what? Mm. That's your fault with your spoiled kids. That's my your fault. fault. <laughs> <laughs> Your spoiled kids. No, not at all. But they um they got straight A's. Congratulations. They got straight A's. Ryan is going to fifth grade. Easton is going to second. Second grade. Damn, babe. You remember we dropped them off for daycare? For the first day? Yeah. yeah I sat and watched them cameras all day long for at least yeah. a week straight. 
I Second did. grader and a fifth grader. Mm-hmm. They're going to be in high school soon. Mm-hmm. That shit is scary. Speaking of it's which. It's like you want it to happen, but then you like, it, it shows it like, now you're getting old too. So. I know. No, you're getting old. I'm not getting old. Okay. <laughs> I'll accept my oldness, but it, it, either way it go, them niggas going to be in middle school and high school one day. You know something else I thought about too? What? How, you know, our kids are in private school and we are um, paying a lot, I might say, you know. But we went to public school. We turned out just fine. What is it nowadays where we feel like, not even us, just parents, period. You feel like your kids have to be in private school. Man, look, let me tell you like this. I, I know like, times is different and we, kids we get are a, different. And I, ain't, I ain't talking about nobody's kids. But when we have family <laughs> gatherings, oh gosh. I, little, I can tell when your kids, my kids connect in, in the difference. So, yes. Uh if I'm able financially to separate my kids from your kids, oh my god, don't that's what do I'm gonna pay for. Do not because y'all do kids do some fucking crazy shit that I ain't cool with my kids. No, I'm I, I'm pretty okay that my kid doesn't know what shooting the middle bird is. So that's oh yeah, I'm I was like, like they said somebody shot the middle finger up at us. I was like, who shot a bird at you, Ryan? Was like, who shot a bird? I said, not, not a, a real bird, bird Ryan. About like, a bird. <laughs> Yeah, like so, our kids is just. But now, nah, I mean, I feel like my mama financially was able to do that. She probably would have. My mama wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> financially able but or not? Uh uh-uh. uh. I she but, Pu- but she, private school. Yeah. What? But, but but I got the best out of public school because I Mm-mm. did. I was in all the clubs and you know I played all the sports yes, and shit like that. So I was always yeah. busy. I didn't mm-hmm. have time. She just was like, "Yo, you're not gonna get in trouble. You get in trouble, I'm kicking your ass out of here." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that that's pretty much where the line was drawn and. That's why I just consume myself with sports. And my coaches were like my my dads. You know, they, yeah. they kept me out of trouble all the time. So I commend sports. So I say, yo, if your son or your daughter goes to public school, just keep them in activities. And I think that'll keep them out of trouble. But it ain't all that's cracked up. P- private school ain't nothing but... Smaller classes. It's smaller classes and it's a mm-hmm. whole bunch of unnecessary fees and shit for stuff <laughs> that don't make... You know, they always want us to come up there and do shit. Man, Man Ebony, this week, Man, this week done killed yeah, us. I, I, Olympic I, Day, know, awards day, field day, yeah. picnic, water day. I like. don't mind, but the teachers be like, oh, Mr. Avery, oh, by the way, uh, you mind bringing a dozen donuts up here? I'm yeah. like, huh? Mm-hmm. When did I nominate myself to do that? Yeah. Or, hey, Mr. Avery, you bring, oh, I would love a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. I'd be like. <laughs> well, you the one that want to take them lunch every day this no, week. No, like, no. I mean, because it's the last week of school. It's, so? It's exciting. Pack them sandwiches like we used to do yeah. back in the day. Yeah, I know. Like, what the world? <laughs> you just, I don't, listen. Your kids, <laughs> your up. kids, again, your kids. You the same, no, hold on, no, 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 no. You ain't for the blast me like that because you the same motherfucker. What that I when do? it's teacher's week, your ass want to make these motherfuckers back. Baskets like you and Martha Stewart made them shits together. <laughs> I don't give a what you talking about. Don't play with me. They and I'd be cool that. with a gift card from freaking Bed Bath and Beyond. And y'all ass want to Bath and Body Works. Bed Bath and Beyond is a place. Yeah, but you wasn't talking about that, was you? Bed Bath and Beyond in a good place. It's done closed down, but I don't. Oh, well, I don't uh, okay. uh, the, the, the place with the candles. <laughs> uh, bath and Body Works. Bath and Body See, Works. See, I got your back. I yeah. know what you was talking about. The place about. with the candles. Yeah. When we go in there, smell the candles and the hands stuff. Mm-hmm. I like that place. It's yeah, nice. but I'm saying teachers deserve when it's Teachers Appreciation Week and and birthdays and they deserve gifts like that. They do a lot for us. They do a lot for our kids. They take on a lot. So I feel like they deserve to be. Celebrated, you know, every every now and then. Yeah, shout out to teachers. Who was your favorite teacher? I appreciate y'all. Um, I don't remember. Damn. What the fuck? I do not remember. I remember. I gotta remember all my teachers, but I know I love Miss Proby. Miss Proby was like my um pro start teacher where we used to cook and stuff. We had a we had a home ec. Yes, it was I guess you can call it home ec, but it was called Pro Start at Pebble Brook. Um we used to cook for like all the events. Well, yeah, you went to Pebble Brook. Why you worry about what year I went to Pebble Brook? <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> what the? Why fuck? you worry about that? Was that was a general conversation that two people are having. I graduated from Pebble Brook in 2003. Okay, mm-hmm. that was like 28 years ago. Ooh, <laughs> what year did you graduate? I don't care uh-huh. about being what old. What year did you graduate? Because you're much older than me. 2001. Lies. 
a two thousand. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I forgot. You I much forgot. older than me. So I was a kid. Uh-huh. My favorite teacher was Miss Thomas. Okay, that was my English teacher in the ninth grade. But tenth, eleven, and twelve, she just washed my back and it's so nice. And she always brought I me think, like I don't uh, remember my. She always brought me um a sub sandwich from um, Publix and stuff like. Why that. Why she do that? I don't know. She just had a little had a group suppo- of kids. Ain't supposed to be Public there. school is different, but <laughs> like. <laughs> When a teacher rock with you, you get in trouble you. for that nowadays. Bringing it, why would you? Why would she be bringing a sub sandwich? Oh, you to have to you ask every... her. She had a picture of me on the wall too. Oh, see, I don't know. I What's her a, name? I, I gotta a, look her up. I was up. in her wedding too. Oh, oh yeah. I was what, in her wedding. Miss Thomas, how how old is this lady? She pretty. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta look her up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's a principal now. Oh, of is a, that of right? A high school. Yeah. Maybe we need to take a visit. <laughs> why? <laughs> Shut up. Sub Shut sandwiches up. every day. You was in her wedding. She got a picture of you on her wall. You sound like my girlfriend back in high school. Uh, oh, why? You reminiscing? <laughs> huh? You reminiscing? What are you talking about? Said, why are you thinking you about another like, girlfriend? What you, get, what you getting catty for? Why you think about another girlfriend? What? I say you sound like my girlfriend in high school. I don't sound like no she other chick. She used to say that. I don't sound like no other she chick. She used to say that I sound when like I was me. in high school. Like, why Miss Thomas Hello? was so nice to you? I sound like me. Oh, and stop God. thinking about other chicks while you sitting in front of me. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> we just went all the way left. <laughs> you just went risky on me. I told you about that shit. I ain't know your little TV show. You, you beat me up. <laughs> anyway, what else is going on? Because we done went all the way left. Oh, we did. We were talking about school. Was, we was. Yeah. That's it. What, you got some pl- stuff planned for the oh, summer? Oh, Family Feud, EJ. Oh, we did do Family Feud. Yeah. <laughs> I, I you know, You know, the, the best part about Family Feud what? for for me was our, our mothers being to be a, be on it and and get like a lot of nor, notoriety for it. Yeah, they welcome. And, and no, Ebony, you can't do that. <laughs> it was not. It was a night. It was for. It was a nice change. That's like I said for the spotlight not to be on us so much. You know, we, we had we had a viewing party. Yes. It was amazing. My family and friends were there. Yes, uh, shout out to everybody that came. Shout out to Essence. Thank y'all for Essence, coming. Essence. Uh, Lounge bar and lounge on Riverdale Road. It, mm-hmm. Go there, make sure y'all got a great event space. Yes. Um, but we had a great time there. All our family and friends came. Food was amazing. Um, and, and yeah, it was just a cool vibe, man. So now we can talk about it. We waited so long yeah. for the episode to come on. Yeah, we won. We, we had to keep everything a secret. Yeah. Well, the first episode we won. The first second episode, episode we, won. Second we didn't even tell nobody about it. Yeah, because we lost. So yeah, we lost. <laughs> We ain't even pinch them just a little bit, but yeah. um, it was fun. And a lot of y'all was joking on him about his answers and fast Which money, one? right? Oh hmm? yeah, they was joking on you about your answers and fast money. Okay. But I say all that to say, y'all, it's much harder mm. when you in front of them lights. Steve standing right there in front of you, all the audience looking at you. Your mind kind of goes truly, blank. Truly a bucket list thing. I appreciate yes. you signing us up for it. Yes, you um, welcome. But <laughs> very, I'm gonna say, like I said, it's a lot of people like, how oh, how was it, bro? It's nerve wracking. It was scary. It's very. And then when scary. that motherfucker come around that corner, hey, I'm the back like, Steve. Oh, yeah, like, oh, we got a good one. I'm like, oh shit, we Head really on this all shining and teeth we all on this shining goddamn like, show. Yo, we. In, it's real. When that nigga come like, around that corner, yeah. you see that his like, suit look just. It looked like he just like I don't bruh, know. That shit was like an out of body experience. I was yeah. like, bro, I feel like I'm watching the episode it was, of myself yeah. on this show. And, yeah. But like I said, man, um, he talks so much and and, and makes jokes and there's man, so he much clowned us shit so bad. going on. <laughs> You forget that you ain't even in a game yeah. and you're trying to win that shit because you want to give an educated answer, right? But it really like. There's black answers and then there's white people yes, answers. Yes, but know that the white people answers were the ones that were up there for the most 100%, part. Hundred percent for the most part. Hundred yeah. percent. And everybody keep asking why I said. Uh, <laughs> he said, uh, "What is said? The name a word that rhymes with name a name that starts with Max. Max and I, your goofball." I said, self Axe, said Axe. but I I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I froze, and that was my froze moment. And it's on, it okay, was on TV. Okay, so what about people. name something the Cowboys have a lot of? And cows. you said cows. Bro, listen, I did. But what? it still got five points. Cows, babe. Yeah, I what about hats in, and boots okay, but and I, but listen, horses? I had to give you some type of like vibe oh, so you, you can get some You didn't have to give me ass. nothing. I had it, boo. Ebony, first of all, I you said it, all that shit I said. I had You it. said all the shit I said. I said one thing that you said. I took karaoke from you. Mm-hmm. But karaoke was the highest points on that board. Mm-hmm. 
I would have had points. it though if you didn't. But I did it. But it's so Dude. fun. It was so fun. Yeah. So shout out to Family Feud and Steve Harvey and all them staff for giving was so us. Nice. Yes, we love. Now listen, this staff was amazing. Staff like was amazing. We yeah. had a great time. Um, and the hospitality was awesome. It. And I would love to do it again if you guys <laughs> would love to see us. We would love to come back on. Uh, they say we were one of the best families that. That it did it this season, season twenty five. So. so make sure y'all go to Family Fuse YouTube. Um, yeah. they got like go a clip. view it. Yeah, they got a clip of me on there. Well, it's me and Robert, but yeah. my face is first. It says Ebony. Uh, <laughs> it said one of the top five comebacks of the season. Ebony takes a shot. So that one has to do with me. But they also have another clip on there about our librarian question. So make sure y'all go to those two videos on Family Feuds page. Leave us, leave a comment about us and like it. And, you know, uh, we're trying to get all the views so and the shout comments out to up. Uh, my mom, Miss Chris. Yes. Shout out to my, my brother, PJ. Mm -hmm. Great job, guys. Y'all did it. Um, Yo, amazing. I gotta tell y'all about something. So I know y'all for the ones that saw the episode. Yeah, yeah. Tell we us. had to do. My brother had to do the sudden death question right at the end. So you know the sudden de death question is whoever answers the question first and gets the top answer wins the game. Yeah. So we had to do that twice, believe it or not. So we could have lost the yeah, first time. Lost. The first time the girl buzzed in first. And she got the answer wrong. And my brother had the right answer. But somebody in the audience yelled the answer out as soon as my brother yelled the answer out. Mm -hmm. He didn't hear them. We we couldn't really hear what the audience said on the stage, but they heard it. So they had to throw out the question. They threw another one and in there. Did we, that and question y'all saw was the second one. And the girl buzzed in first again. And got the wrong answer again. PJ, but PJ came fast, in bro. and saved the day. But that's fast, crazy bro. because we could have lost. We could have lost twice. They gave her two chances to win. We lost so twice. that's some behind the scenes that stuff in, that, that y'all didn't was see. But yeah. By the way. So. And then what I don't like, we did not get to introduce our now, family I'm members. Tell y'all my scenario why I think we didn't let well, why she didn't as a captain get to introduce the whole line like they do, right? Oh, yeah, let me meet your family. Because and each time when he said, hey, Ebony, listen, he stopped at me and he said, oh, I know who you are. Yeah, What's he up, said DJ? you one of the hottest DJs, one of the hottest in, Atlanta DJs and, in Atlanta. Yeah. Da, 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 this boy bad. Da, da, da. So mm -hmm. I think they took it out because it was like a shot. Like, you know, you just don't want to play with that type of stuff saying, oh, I, oh, they won because he knew who he was. Or they, they let them win they or let something them like win, that. But that's why showing... I had to tell y'all, we fought for that win, yeah. believe it or not. Oh, like, that shit was a lot. But yeah. Yeah, that's why they cut out the whole intro part. If they didn't, if you well, were looking for Well, they could have cut it. out that you was the hottest DJ, but I still want to introduce everybody's name yeah, and stuff, you know. They, they didn't do that both episodes, and they did it for everybody else. So I don't know. Whenever we see them again, I want to ask why, but... That's it. Like I said, it was a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that I wish they would have showed. Like mm. he do, he does a whole comedy show, like a whole comedy show in between each little break, in between each question. And if you answer dumb questions, I oh, mean yeah. dumb answers, yeah. oh he gonna clown you for at least he five mama, ten minutes man. straight. And he they, he killed me out. too. He cut it out. He cut out part where Ebony said some crazy shit. So yeah, it was funny, man. Um. If you could be on any other game show, what would it be? You think Will of Fortune. You think you would do good in 100%. Will of Fortune? 100%. She'd be guessing them off. That, that's what really kind of led us to, to Family Feud because mm -hmm. she'd be knowing them little answers on Fast Money. But mm -hmm. a, a Will of Fortune would be the one? Will of Fortune, 100%. Cool. But I feel like it's going to be scary and it's my, blank, my brain's going to go blank like it did for mm -hmm. Family Feud. You know, it's just different when you in the I, limelight. I it's different. I always want to go on um, Double Dare. Double Dare. I did want to do that when oh, I was a man, kid. Bro. That and Price is Right. You know, everybody wants to do Price right. is Right. Hell no. Nah. Why? Because you got to guess them numbers and shit. Yeah, you fuck that's up, you fun. Fuck up, yeah. I wanted to do Price, Price is Right. No, 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 you're right. I wanted to do I, the I do little drop Plinko the, the, the game. Plinko. Yeah, I want to drop the Plinko. Plinko. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I, and I want to pick uh, higher or lower. Uh, remember that? When it's uh -huh. like, oh, this is a, a can of oh, Windex. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it $2 or is it 12 One more. Deal or no deal. Never watched that one. What? I, that's the one with the suitcases? Yes. I never watched that I wanted one. to do that one, too. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's still a possibility, so you never but, know. No, Double Dare was the one. I'm a, Since I applied for Family Feud, you never know. I, I just might dig, just start digging, applying digging, for digging everything. The no, dig, digging the nose and get a flag. <laughs> oh, yeah. That I remember like, that. Yeah. They sh we should bring that show back. I thought they, they tried to bring it back. And it what happened? It didn't work. Kids oh, don't watch okay. TV no more. <laughs> You're right. They <laughs> on YouTube. They on YouTube. You're right. It has consumed their lives. It's a wrap, so... 
But yeah, it was fun. Right. So that was an experience. All right, man. I really want to get into the food, but I um I know it was something that you wanted to talk about. You know yeah. what I want to talk about. Listen. You know we got to bring it up. So. Okay. Cassie. I seen the video. And Diddy. You saw the video. By now, I think everybody has seen the video. Mm. Um. <laughs> I don't even know what like. What do you? It's, no, no, it's bad. As a woman, it's bad. As a woman, it's bad. How, how do you feel when you seen that video? It's bad. Like there's, I don't think there's a woman. No, no, but put yourself because we no, had this listen conversation. To me. Go listen, ahead, go ahead. I don't think there's any woman that has feelings. Period. That could watch that video and not feel anything. And I don't care if you're a fan of Diddy, if you're related to Diddy, if your family. Any woman watching that video felt something. Like what did you feel? I'm just saying that was I just felt like it was wrong. Like to actually see him doing that to her or seeing anybody beating up a woman, period. Diddy or not. Let's just even if it's Diddy out of the equation. Mm. A man beating up a woman like that and she just looked helpless like that. I that's wrong. And then I think we were getting to that conversation. We was at the house and um our friend Nick was over. She said, uh well, you know, some girls would stay because of how much money he got and what he's doing. And there I was are, just like, and I was like, that's motherfucking there real. There are a lot of women currently right now in a abusive lot. relationships. A lot. And Your they, get, they get their butts beat to a pulp and they are okay with it because of the benefits that they're getting from their man. So, so whether it's monetary things, whether it's uh, purses, bags, n- a new car, uh, jewelry, they are okay. Bruh, me I mean, they might something. not be okay with getting beat up, but I guess they like, if I'm going to get beat up, at least I'm going to get something for it. You they get beat you, up, you, you, cheated you on. You with somebody and you say 100% this is our relationship, if 60% of that relationship is when he gets an attitude, drunk, or feels like he want to lash out and he don't have a good day and you take the end, the toll of it, the heavy lifting of it, you're telling me bags and shoes and having a nice car to post on Instagram is worth your life? You saying I'm telling no, you? No, I'm that? saying oh. I, I'm talking to <laughs> because, women, but I'm saying, <laughs> I mean, even let, let's put it in a situation for you. You with a billionaire nigga. You know he getting you all the benefits. When the, the, the good days are the good days now. And, and and but you know that nigga got an attitude, and if you say something retarded, he gonna fucking go off. Listen, you hit me, I'm hitting you back. We gonna be like Ike and Tina. Okay. We gonna be like Ike and Tina. Okay, we, but okay. We gonna be you, you, rolling around the room. Okay, <laughs> but you're willing to be no, in, you, I'm not you're going willing down to be in a, a, fight. a toxic relationship. No, it ain't about, <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you're willing to be in a toxic relationship with the benefits that it comes with, but you're saying, okay, you're gonna hit back. Great, you're gonna hit back, but nigga, he's still gonna, he's still stronger than you. So? He's gonna punch in your shit. He gonna get punched back. We gonna be punching each other. So you you knock said, you gonna knock my teeth out? I'm gonna knock your teeth out. We gonna, I'm not laughing, babe. I I'm know, being serious. I'm, I'm being serious too. I'm just saying, like it's a lot of girls who are in that I know situation, that. and it's it's unfortunate. It really is. Like, and you saying that bags and shoes, I personally and purses know people that have are been the band-aid. that have been and are in that situation, but some people choose. Love over that. Some people choose, like I said, the other type of money over getting abused. Some people Bruh, don't. You can't take it with you. You, I don't care how much money you load up, whatever all the, the, the material things you get. You can't take it with and, you, bro. Robert, some people are scared. Some people. No, I. That's what I. That's what I sympathize with. I'm. St- I sympathize with somebody being used to the lifestyle. I know. And I'm not saying personally, but I know um, men that uh, that particularly prey on younger women because mm-hmm. they don't they're not smart to, smart enough to think for themselves. Mm-hmm. And and that and, money and, and, and stuff and, like that and, is, and, 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 excites them. <laughs> nigga, it ain't yeah. even that. It's niggas. It's girls who will be happy with something other than chicken wings and fries and a pair of new t- t- tennis shoes. That will hold on, but listen, y'all, y'all don't understand. There's a lot of women out here that really, be, really be in situations where they just, just want somebody to help them and support them, and they're willing to take an ass whooping or a slap across the face or whatever just to be comfortable where they ain't got to wake up and figure out how the fuck they gonna pay their bills. Mm. Y'all, that shit is serious. So, like I said, seeing the video, 
de fucking disgusted. Know the guy, my friend, texts me, sends me inspirational texts and all shit. But it, like I said, it's situation. Like I said, that's their situation. But you know what? And I just see- hate it was on camera, and uh- I don't believe he's sorry. I don't believe he's sorry. He just sorry he got caught. Of course, most of y'all, that's how y'all are. You're only sorry. You only apologize when you get caught, but you're not sorry when you're doing it. You're not sorry when it's happening. You're not sorry when you're hiding it or lying it, but, but you're lying I, but, about but it. I'm not but you're sit sorry up, when you get caught. Yeah, but I'm not going to sit here and act like uh, I haven't heard Cassie um, uh, stories too as well. But I mean, I, I get that. that. It doesn't matter what stories you heard about Cassie. I don't feel like anybody has the right to beat another person or hit another person if it's just... Just say she got a smart mouth and she fly, you know, yeah, she, so she got an attitude that. and all of that type of stuff. That mm-hmm. don't get nobody the right to, to hit somebody. So let me ask you a question. You, mm-hmm. you particularly have a smart mouth. I do. And you, you at your lowest of when you upset or when you mad, you know how to poke. I do. You know how to punch. You know, you good for gut punches. Uh-huh. I, I say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh-huh. I'm going to say that. So what you saying? Well, you can't, you can't, but. They give you the right to hit me? No. They give you the right to choke me? No. They give you the right to shake me? Do you, do, but do, do, do <laughs> no. you, no, but do you feel like when you do that, it's, you're, you're um, you're aggravating the situation or you're antagonizing, maybe feeling like somebody's going to, they're going to, I'm going to react the way I react because you, you had it coming anyway. I mean, when I do, when I'm mad and I'm, or I'm pissed or I'm hurt, I try to make you feel like how I'm feeling. So, and that's not, I'm just not, not knowing saying how you. I'm going to react. Yeah. Not just you, just anybody, period. If you hurt me or I'm mad or whatever, I'm going to do some low blows. I'm going to do some, that's something cool. that's going to poke the bear or something mm-hmm. that's going to piss you off or make you mad or make you hurt. I'm going to, so I'm like, saying, I'm, I'm fight saying that, fire with fire. Yes, so I'm I am. I'm saying when you do that. And I'm going to make it burn hotter. No, you can't <laughs> do that. But so you got, you got, if you're ready to burn hotter. What'd you say? A fire? What'd you say? I said, I'm going to fight fire with fire. Okay, yes. then. So you got to be ready to reap the re- repercussions of what a man is going to do. No. Nah. Oh, uh-uh. You, sound, you sound crazy. No, I'm not. I so would you never. I would never. going to hit a woman because they oh, I don't know. Do low blows Mother, or No, men, and... men are fucking retarded because I'm saying, like, Mm-mm. you don't know what a dude going to do. I'm just saying, when you push them buttons, y'all know how to push a button on a mm-hmm. nigga. Nah. And, and, uh-huh. and, and when y'all he, do too. No, uh-huh. no. Uh-huh. I said women. Y'all technically the whole the the whole Shazam of what y'all go to when you're mad or when you with a nigga. What y'all do? All oh, your dick little. Oh, you gay. Oh, da 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 da. All that shit to try to tarnish his man, but you were just with the nigga three months ago having the best time ever. That's what I'm saying. That's the first thing women go to. I hate that mm-hmm. that women do that. But like I said, niggas is fucked up in the head. Mm-hmm. They go through personal situations. They don't know how to love a woman properly. All type of stuff like that. Mm-hmm. When y'all go super low blow and say those type of things to make them feel less of a man, then you just don't know how they're going to react. That's all I'm saying. Okay. And I, you say all of that, and I go back to what I said. No matter what I say to you or do to you, that don't give you the right to put your hands on me. Even when that a girl say, hit you, me, hit me. I dare you hit yeah, me. Yeah, I'm not hitting you. I'm antagonizing you with words. So that doesn't give you the right to put your hands on me, to to slap me, to push me, shake me. None mm. of that stuff. Like, I'm talking to you with words. Cuss me out with words right back. But don't put your hands on me. Because right. I guarantee you, you put your hands on me and we... We finna be like I said. Well, he, it's gonna he, be he some Ike and Tina this, this stuff. This conf- this confidence festers from her backup. She has backup. <laughs> yeah, my brothers yeah. don't play about me. And yeah, everybody her brothers that. don't play about her. My but... brothers do not play about yeah. me. Shout out to PJ I, and Quincy. I love y'all with everything in me, and they love me with everything in me. They do not play so about like me. So like I said, that's like <laughs> having two security guards. Yes, talking shit. Yes. Everybody can talk. Oh, I'll beat your ass. Yes, I'm going to get my brothers. What you say? Oh, I'm going to go get oh, my brothers. Oh, every time she's mad at me or <laughs> we get to that point where we mad at her, my brother's going to see. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> my friends Hey, too. I mean, hey, get you some brothers like mine. Well, I, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry, man. What we eat? <laughs> All right, the food is here, baby. <laughs> Looks so delicious today, yes. EJ. Appreciate that. How you feeling over there? I am feeling amazing. You know, this is my favorite part of the show. What? The food. Oh, I thought it was the carbs. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> anyway, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Who do we have today? 
Chef Taj. Chef Taj. Thank you Glad for coming. Chef Taj, yeah, yeah. 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 You done been more than three times. No, nah, it's, it's the second third. time. Second, it's the third, it's third time. time. Oh, the yeah. first, first episode, with, we, uh, it got messed up. Yeah yeah. 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 yeah, my brother, man. What do you yeah. have today, big dog? Uh, so we have Parmesan crusted chicken. Okay. Uh, pasta primavera, so it's just vegetables. It's got some broccoli, asparagus, uh, mm. some red peppers, and it's tossed in the creamy uh, marinara. Mm. Nice. This That's chicken it. looks real pretty. I and appreciate that. So you said a pasta primavera. Yeah. Okay. What's primavera? Uh, it basically just means that it comes with vegetables. Okay. Fresh, fresh vegetables on the side. So. But it's, it's orange. The sauce? That's the sauce. It's what a, sauce it's is a creamy marinara. Creamy marinara. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Just, just a little heavy cream and marinara. This is good. I appreciate it. You that. always, you know what? Every time you've come so far, you have knocked it out of the park. Listen, I just, I just you, do what I love to do. So, so listen, how you come up with when you are making dishes? How you come up with stuff when you like creative things? Because last time you did a sous vide, yeah, which I, I never heard of a sous vide in my life. <laughs> And it was amazing, by the way. I appreciate that. But how do you come up with, like, different ideas and, and dishes? Um, just kind of thinking about what pairs with what. Um, mm-hmm. And then a lot of things, a lot of times when it comes to presentation of food, it's not just the actual food. It's uh, we're thinking about the texture of the food. Okay. Yeah. Right? So if you the, the chicken has a little crisp to it, the, mm-hmm. the pasta's soft, the vegetables have a little crisp to it as well. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know, you don't want something, you don't want a dish that's just all soft. Right. I, never all would, I never would have thought of that though. Yeah, like the uh, the crispy texture on the chicken. And shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like it, it, it all adds to the to the experience of the food. So to nice. me, just kind of what 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 goes with each other mm-hmm. and what pairs well. Mm. That's pretty that good. good. I appreciate that. Okay. So you got what you got going on? You got anything happening? Anything going on? That's Not new? much. Just um, you know, I'm a personal chef, so I do some gigs here and there. I'm also an executive chef full time. Okay. So Where? um. Um, what's that Where at? Holbrook at Woodstock. It's an upscale retirement community. Nice. I don't know so, <clears throat> so, okay. Um, Is that a retirement community? Yeah. They cook for old. But people. you can move there. You can move there. Don't really? Care. Don't you care don't have to age. be old. Mm-mm. Nice. A lot of soft foods. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah we, no retirement communities be yeah. they, they be dope. They bust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I'm glad I found. I found. I mean, this is probably my fourth community. Mm-hmm. Um. But I'm glad I found out at a young age because I, I used to work in a couple restaurants and golf clubs and it's just different. Yeah. It's, it's really, uh, it's, it's best of both for us. You get the um, restaurant life, but then you get the you get the benefits. Yeah. yeah. A lot of restaurants don't have benefits these right, days. Right, right. Um, then when COVID hit, that, I mean, retirement communities are probably the safest place to be. Right. Okay. We, we so, had to feed the people. So Memorial Day weekend is coming up. Yeah. What is your go-to Memorial Day food? You gotta have it. Gotta be on your plate <laughs> when the when the grill is done. I'm gonna be honest. I don't, you don't even have to touch the grill. I'm just good with a good seafood pasta. Wow, seafood pasta? A cold seafood pasta. Man, why you gotta go left? Man? I don't have any. I don't. I don't need to have anything on the grill. Really? really? I'll be good with that. Yeah. But traditionally, what, what would you? Well, I guess be a brisket or something like that. Brisket. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't never. I ain't never cooked brisket. You've myself. never cooked brisket. I wouldn't even know where to start. I just I know you. I've not seen it, but you don't have to do much to you it. You smoke it's that like, though, right? Yeah. Mm. Traditionally, you smoke it, but you can do it a few different ways. You can okay. bake it in the oven. So you're not a mac and cheese baked bean guy. I love for mac and cheese. Ribs, I mean mac and cheese. None of that Ribs. type of yeah, yeah, yeah. So do are you cooking for the uh, the retirement community for Memorial Day? They yeah, want, yeah, they yeah. want Memorial Day. Do you food? Have, oh, I was yeah. gonna say, what are you cooking for them for Memorial Day? Have brisket. <laughs> um, I have a peach. I'm doing a barbecue peach chicken. Wow. Yeah. Um, gonna do some some um, citrus salmon on cedar planks. Okay. Yep. White cheddar macaroni and cheese. Nice. Uh, a couple things here and there, but oh, no. really big event. But no ribs. Not getting on the grill. No ribs. <laughs> Ain't cooking no on no hot dogs. <laughs> no, no hot dogs. That's like Fourth of July. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, that's like yeah, 4th that of is Fourth of July. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's shit. dope. Tell everybody where to follow you on Instagram, big dog. Uh, Instagram will be uh, Chef underscore Taj underscore Yusef Boyd. You got to um, spell it. Oh, they're going to put it on the screen because, oh, yeah. yeah, they're it's, not going to be able to find <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'll find links to all, all the rest of my stuff, a couple of videos and all that good stuff. Well, we nice. really appreciate the food, my mm-hmm. brother. Yes, and I appreciate and, um, being here. Thank you. You can book my guy anytime y'all need him. Please yes. do. He's definitely going to pop out and do his damn thing. The food is so amazing, by I the appreciate way. appreciate that. Thank Take you, man. Take our word for it. Listen. Man. It's good. It look good as Ebony making this sound. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. I appreciate it. Chef Ty, baby. Appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know.
Man, that food was so good. Delicious. He always. We got to get him chef. to cook for us at the house one time. Yeah, this, like, nigga, this nigga putting cream and marinara sauce and shit. <laughs> I, I'm Parmesan not... crusted chicken. Man, that prompt, that chicken was amazing. The chicken was really good. And it wasn't like super duper crispy, but it yeah. wasn't soft either. Like it was like a perfect balance between both. Yeah, so he Definitely, did that. Definitely uh, something I never did with pasta, but it was good. Shout out to Chef Taj. Thank My you dog. so much. All right, so yes, ma'am. This is an interesting topic I saw. Right, well. <laughs> it says. Let me read it because I don't want to mess it up. It says a man says his male best friend shouldn't have his wife's number. His male best friend. So, like your best friend shouldn't have my phone number. Um, it says should your best friend have your husband or boyfriend's number or be able to text him, or do you think that's a boundary? And it goes for both, male or female. That's stupid. Because all what? your all your people got my phone number. Well, yeah. All of them. And they all be texting me. <laughs> well, yeah, that's nothing wrong with that. That's yeah, some insecure shit. That's definitely some insecure. Uh, now, if you don't, I don't know, because some some people have to watch out for their friends. Some people friends want they man. Man, look. So man. or want they woman. So you do have to watch out and, and be cautious of who has your wife or your husband's number and what they texting about. Like, when your friends text me, they text me and say, where holiday is, tell them to call me. Or they might text me, happy Mother's Day or Merry Christmas or, you know, something like that. Well, but Don't make me check the thread, nigga. Or they might send me some funny videos or something like what that. What they sending you funny videos for? <laughs> but I'm the only nigga make you laugh. Me and got that cat wig. What? Say something. Cat wig? Where uh, that come Kevin from? Kevin Hart. Shit. Who? Kevin Hart. Somebody funny. Nigga, you don't laugh at funny Neither shit anyway. Neither one of them is funny. Oh, damn. Oh, sorry. Sorry, cat and Kevin. Sorry. My wife don't think you're funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I don't feel like nothing's wrong with like my friends or your friends having our numbers. Your friends don't text me. They only text you when stuff is coming up, That's events it. and hey, birthdays what we doing for your and wife stuff birthday. like that. I'm yeah, like, cool. as they should. They shouldn't be I texting should be you for like nothing else. July, <laughs> to, July tenth, two thousand whatever, and then the next text be July tenth, two thousand <laughs> the next year. So Good. Time. It shouldn't. You know, y'all don't have nothing yeah, to really nah, talk man. about like but, that. But uh, my niggas should not be texting you. They text me all the time. No, they shouldn't. I'm just playing. No, yeah, they don't. They nah, don't. Yeah, <laughs> Once every blue moon, like Maybe. I said, I got a bunch of texts from all of them for Mother's Day, and that was it. I don't, I'm not going to hear from them again probably till my birthday. Yeah, we'll see who texts me for Father's Day. Oh. oh. I'll make sure I tell them to text you, babe. Don't tell them to text me. <laughs> I want it to be natural. Don't do that. Okay. Anyway, yeah. so. For the 9 9 and the 2000, you know, we went back to the 9 9 and the 2000 the other day with the. Uh, uh, juvenile event that was amazing by the way mm -hmm. you had your little soldier what you had on you had on you had on um man i had she ain't like she ain't like her outfit i liked it though i thought it so was so it was TLC a 99 2000 party and i couldn't find nothing and it was so last minute so i went and put on some suspenders and <laughs> suspenders is 99 2000 the short ones though the overalls the short That's overalls the baggy ones. Yeah. with some fishnets and combat boots i look like 90s Do you look like, like uh early 90s the, what's the girl zane zane yeah, it was that type of vibe. I seen a, a picture of Tony Braxton with the same type of outfit yeah, exactly. on. Exactly, Tony was the one back. That's then. not ninety nine two thousands, babe. That was like yes, it was nineties style. Ninety nine two thousand. You did a great job. I, on the other hand, was straight out of cash. You definitely cash money. you had a jersey on with the bandana tied around your head yeah. and your arm. You had the big. Chain, cash money chain yeah, on, and yeah, yeah. Timberland boots and Timberland stuff. Timberland boots with jeans, shorts. Jeans shorts. Jeans shorts. Jeans shorts. shorts that came past your knees. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any Jabot jeans. I wish. I know. I used to have Jabot jeans. Jabot, uh, baby fat. You remember Inichi? How do you say it? Inichi? I had, a, I had a jersey. Miyoshi. Do you remember that brand? Yep, yep, All yep, those yep. brands. You, We've had some brands like... These kids or these people nowadays yeah. wouldn't know what they we don't was. even stick to nothing. They mm -hmm. just well whatever. You remember the girls used to wear those clear militia those clear shoes? They was called Melissa's. But you remember they mm -hmm. used to be you never seen those? You don't remember the girls. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember them clear Melissa shoes. Anybody from the eighties, you know, that was raised in like the two thousands. Y'all mm. all had a pair of the Melissa's. They got real like dirty on the inside because <laughs> your feet be sweating and stuff. They I had didn't. little holes in them and you could like tie them 
Yeah. And then the jelly sandals. What's your favorite era of uh, clothing? Is it that? That era? Um, I don't know. Because back then, I used to kind of dress. I used to wear like baggy pants. And I used to you wear big like clothes. Girl, you well, like I a, had a, a mixture dude. of both. So I wore sometimes I wore like baggy, like I wore the big Tommy Hilfiger collared shirts with the you know stuff like that. And then I had the big Fubu t shirts and yeah. the Jabot jeans used to be girl Jabot jeans, but the t shirt used to be big. Or yeah. I would wear some apple bottom tight jeans. I like the with, Tommy Hilfiger shorts and shirts. Yeah. With the, I mean, my first time here, figure shirt was a purple one with the. Oh my god, that's so lame. But <laughs> I just, I, I cherish that shirt. And you couldn't I, tell I, me nothing. I wore it to the skating ring. I Aww, thought I was a babe. shit at Golden Glide. Did I your just, grandma buy you the shirt? Nah, she didn't buy me that. Oh, my my, buy you my that. mama went half with me. Oh. I had to come up with because them shirts was like ninety dollars. Yeah, they was. Yeah. Like, no, I don't think that was that much. Oh, no, I got we used my, to get them from Macy's. Listen, I know. I got mine from the Army base. No, it was riches. Oh, got mine from the Army base. It was a Tommy Hill figure shirt. I never forget it. Purple. Um, and I wore that motherfucker <laughs> every time. I wanted to impress anybody, but no, nah, oh yeah, that was God. my shirt. But I you know, what I used to like the mm. what, the footy ball socks. You remember yeah, those? Yeah, I remember. What that. I had on, I used to wear two different color footy balls. So if yeah. I had on yellow and blue, I would put on one yellow, one yeah. blue. Even the slouch socks, we would double our slouch socks. Mm. I would wear my donut, and then my donut. You have the little scrunchies. Yeah. Each color, what you got on, I had a scrunchie. Did you have the Jays the day they came out? I always got the Jordans. This was one thing about me. I always got the shoes the day they came out. With all the boys in school, they used to get their shoes. I used to get the Jordans when My they came out. My mom used to be like, uh, how much some Jays? They'd be like 120, 150 or something. She was like, I'll get you two pair of Reebok classes. I'd be like, uh, these for this side of the season. This so, so no. But see, that's why I, that. one of the reasons I started working so early so that I could buy my yeah. own shoes and stuff. But I used to have my own. Well, when the Jordans came out, I used to get the Jordans and then the Air Max. I remember the Air Max. I used to get all the color mm-hmm. Air Maxes. Um, I remember those days. That yeah, was pretty. Yeah, but pretty back dope. to the original part of the conversation. Juvenile, <laughs> juvenile concert. Shout out to Juvenile. Shout out to Juvenile. Yeah, uh, he put on a dope great concert. Great era of music, man. Dope 400 concert. Degrees is in my top five of uh, Down South albums that I think I've collected over the years. I think I bought that album even when it was CDs when I was DJing, starting DJ. I probably had 400 Degrees like five times. You know what? That was the days when we used to make them LimeWire mix CDs and stuff. That's what I used to do. Um, I didn't buy albums. I bought either bootlegs yeah. or I made my own uh, mix CD off of yeah. LimeWire. But he definitely put on a good show. Man. And he still looked the same. Man, I love it, bro. He still looked the same. Keep drinking the water, <laughs> vegan and whatever you're doing. Oh, speaking of that... um. Being one of my favorite albums, did you see Apple Music put out the top 100 albums? I saw that, and I was a little disappointed Why? in that. Because the f- number one was number one Lauren was, Hill. Yeah, I, you know, so you know I went on Apple it Music. It beat Michael Jackson? I went on Apple Music, and I said that, uh, I said arguably Thriller is the best album ever made, still to this day. And man, I'm talking about, that shit got like 90 comments. Yeah, I... Like, Holiday, how dare you? Really? Miss, Miss, Miss uh, Lauren Hill was, uh, she connected with, they were saying it was self conscious music about women's right at the time of when oh, she put it out and shit like that. So I okay. got backlash from a lot of, it, I just stopped like re- responding and stuff. But I just feel like Thriller Man is timeless, bro, because it's like, Dude, you cannot touch that album. Yeah, but I want to know. So I guess they did it just basically by numbers and sales. No, and no, no. They How said, did they do it? Because they said, they I said, didn't get the they, vote. They said, they said some <laughs> of it was uh, numbers and sales. Some of okay. it was impressions. Some of it was uh, the, how long the music lasted throughout the years and you okay. know, in the in the ups and downs of it. Okay. Uh, but they said arguably, they said Thriller should have won. But they was like, but they, but then they said the culture thing. They said like he, he took a slump when all that child all that molesting stuff shit happened. went. Yeah, happened. yeah, I, I get that. But I understand. I'm gonna stick to it and say Thriller still is the number one album, bro. So like, if you had to choose, that's that would be your number one album would be Thriller. Uh, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. It would be. It would. Yeah. And they had that like, and um that and um Purple Rain for sure. Yeah, but did you see how far down the list Usher was and? And like, that's a lot of music. That's a I lot of genres know, of music. I know, but still, bro. Like, I mean, I guess y'all think you gonna sit and think to... "Confessions" is the best album ever made? Like, stop it. <sighs> no, I didn't say it was the best album, but I just oh, didn't well. feel like it, it was like in the eighties or been something. That. Right? Yeah, it was far, far down the list. It's a lot of music, man. It is. It's a lot it of is. music. 
But anyway, let's All get right. into these uh this fan mail. All right, cool. Let's go. Fan mail. All right. Fan mail. Fan mail. <laughs> this is funny. Wow. What is your spouse's curfew, and do you think your spouse should come home at a reasonable time? And what if your spouse came home at an unreasonable time? What would be your reaction or punishment? Depending on what kind of cancer she is that day. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, I don't have a curfew, but I, I know better. I know. I mean, listen, I communicate with my wife, so I'm not. I don't have no. She know I'm a night person. I like. I go out. You know, regardless if I'm with the boys or I'm just going to listen to music in the club. You know, she ain't never. I don't know. I just she, that is that's lame to me. I because as I say, if you one of them type of guys when you just hang out and you, I'm gone. I'll be back when I'm back. Like I ain't never did no shit like that. I I communicate. You sure haven't. Nah, shut up. Don't try to <laughs> do that. I'm being nice right now. So no, I'm saying you being nice. I'm saying you ain't gotta like make it make me feel like you you make me like I. No, I, I don't do make that. you do anything. I don't check you. I don't like. Where you at? Where you at? What time you coming home? I don't know. Oh, no, do your that. ass like, used to do that shit. Um, uh, you used to do that and be like, tell me where you are, or at least no, 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 no. Communicate. Nope. Let's go back. Let's in case you die. Let's rewind this. She said so. That. Women, I'm gonna just solely women. When you have a spouse or a husband that's in the nightlife, in the industry, or just period, a husband, period, a black husband. Let me say that. I always tell him. To text me when you're leaving your destination and let me know either 100%. if you're on your way home or if you're on your way to another destination, just let me know. I don't care where you're going. I don't care what time you're, how long you're going to be there. But I would like to know if you text me at 1030 and say, babe, I'm on my way home and I look up and it's two o'clock in the morning and you're not here. That's like I'm scared at that yeah, point. Yeah. Like because you're supposed to and be I, home. And I think... Um you it, thought you it, took no, that in the as beginning. me. You took that yeah. as me keeping tabs on you. Because I never had like to that. do that when I first no, got to a lot. I've never had that. That's to. me showing care and concern. Yeah. And that also eases my nerves. Because like I said, if you tell me, text it text me at 10 30 and say, babe, I'm on my way home and it's one o'clock in the morning, you still ain't here. No, no, I no, need no, to no, be listen. calling you and I'm, checking I'm, to see where you at, or if you okay, you done got an accident, you done got hurt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the only reason why. And I, I and, those and I was and I was being a man, and I, I I blinded myself in that situation, making me feel like, you know, I, you know, I ain't never t- tell no one where I'm going or what, what time yeah, I gotta nah. be, wherever mm-hmm. I gotta be. Like that's why I, I was like, yeah, I was kind of like immature. So. But yeah. Back to the answer to the question, though. You don't have a curfew. I don't curfew. have a curfew. You don't have a curfew, but, but I know clubs close at 4 o'clock, and I know you ain't walking in the house at no 6, 7, 8 in the well, morning. Well, remember that time I went out and I was with French, and I was like, yo, we in the studio, and this shit going to be all night. No, nah, yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, I told you. Mm-mm. Okay, well, we was in a the beat. We were just trying to make a song, but it was taking forever. I don't remember that at all. But like I said, the clubs <laughs> close at 4, and <laughs> you better not be out later than 6. Later than six? Really five. You be you be walking in the house at I don't five even o'clock. Wanna stay out the Clubs five. close at three. I don't even think you came home anytime after five ever. No. Or four thirty really. I don't even feel right. Like, Without me, you, you Vegas? never really have. Now Vegas? that's different. We oh, be out till eight o'clock God, in the morning. That's retarded. That shit is dumb. <laughs> but, and you wake up. No, but no, no curfew. Uh Got a great communication thing with my wife, mm-hmm. so I'm good. But I I say just don't let the sun beat you home. If you if you're married, that's it. I say you don't be out later than an hour after the club close. What? What about Waffle House? That's fifteen minutes extra. No, it takes fifteen minutes to get to Waffle <laughs> 15 House. Fifteen minutes extra. Ooh, my hair poofing up. All right, we gotta go. Oh no, we gotta go. The- <laughs> I'm going to have an afro by the time the show is over with. All right, that blood? is our show for yeah. today. Thank you guys time. so much for um, tuning in, as always. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, like Ebony says, subscribe to uh, the YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff like that. <laughs> you got that today? Yeah, well, no, nah, I was going to say but I was also saying, uh, like she said, go to the Family Feud joint and uh, mm-hmm. watch that and run the views up. Uh, so we can possibly get back on the show because we had a great time, man. And then on top of that, um, mm-hmm. going to Qatar, we'll be going to Qatar again, and I'm excited about that. And my mm-hmm. brother Scrappy's going with us, mm-hmm. so we get to go out there and turn up and uh, have a 
safe Memorial Day weekend and all that good yes, stuff. Yes, yes. Yeah, man, summertime is almost is here. So. It's it's definitely here. Yeah, follow School's me out. at DJ Holiday. Follow me at Risky Business Twenty Three, and follow our podcast page at Dinner with the Averys. If you have any questions, any topics you want to talk about, discuss a yeah. chef you possibly want to sh- be on the show. Who can beat Chef Taj? Right, who can beat Chef Taj? That's a challenge that we nigga need to had start. Had the creamy marinara <laughs> and the sous vide. Have y'all ever heard of a sous vide? Anyway. Send us an email at asktheaveries at gmail.com. He be throwing me off my stuff all the time. That's what I do, baby. Or send us a DM at Dinner with the Averys. Keep you on your toes. That's the end of the show. Because like I said, I got an afro and I got to go. I look rough. Thank y'all for tuning in. I promise I'll be cute next week. Hasta la vista. (laughs) Bye.